All right, hi, and welcome back to Tiny Moto Garage, where we have got two carburetors. And this one is the stock one that came off the Dual Sport, the Chinese Dual Sport. And I'll put a little picture of that in here. So this is the original, such as it is, and this is the Makuni clone. So this one has a name on it of Kima, K-E-I-M-A. Oh dear. So that's the name on this one. And these are VM26 Makuni clones. 26, we will hopefully soon find out, is actually 30 millimeter. I believe it works differently with the PZs. I think a 30 is a 30, but in the Makuni, a 26 is a 30, at least that's my understanding. But I have some calipers here and we will figure, we will figure that out. So, first inspection is that they're very similar. The Makuni clone from Amazon appears to be built I don't want to say cheaper, but it appears to be not necessarily quite as robust, but it'd be interesting to weigh them actually. This one is a little lighter. Yeah, this one's a bit lighter. So the first thing is check out the bores and they are identical, which is perfect. So if we take the flange, which is what goes obviously onto the motorcycles and you'll see that that fits just fine. And we don't really have any yeah, we don't have any lip or anything, so that works great. And then this one, of course, we know fits because this was the original. There we go, and that goes like that. It's pretty similar. All right, so this says 29.81, which is, with my measuring, as close to 30 as you're going to get. So this is the needle from the Amazon Special, and this is... 24 millimeters. Here is, here is, damn it. And this one is exact, yeah, exactly the same, 23.98. The needles look somewhat similar, although this one, interestingly, is longer and pointier than this one. You can see that this one is longer than this one and has a shallower taper. This one seems to have a more aggressive taper. These Lids are basically identical. They both have air screws, obviously. The clone and this one, this, this one has a knurled screw that sticks out a fair bit further. And this one has more of an interior screw. This one has four float bowl screws and this one has three. They both have very similar drains. Although uh, the drain is on different sides. The chokes look very similar in terms of their construction. I'm not seeing a great deal of difference there. Here, there is a difference. So we've got these are inside. Here they're on the outside. So that's interesting. This also has what seems to be an extra port. I don't know what that is. This one doesn't have it. Now it might be something to do with this, and this is, this is the part that I've never really understood. So this one, which is the factory one, has this arrangement here on it, and I don't know what this is. I've asked on several forums, nobody seems to be able to tell me what it is. And I don't know, this appears to be some sort of a port here from it, and there is a port there. So that would suggest maybe a pumper, but I don't see how that would work because it's not hooked up to anything. This also has the extra part here. So that's where the main difference, let me put that there. That's where the main difference happens is, is on this side. So if anybody ever watches this video and knows what that is, by all means, let me know. But apart from that, they are very similar carburetors. The reason I'm changing it out is because this will not idle when cold, it refuses. This one hopefully will, we're about to find out because I'm going to install it, but this, I cannot get this to idle at all, unless I adjust the, the idle screw, all, not all the way in, but quite a far way in, and then when it's warm, I've got to back it out again. It's ridiculous. This one came stock jetted, 
with a 42 pilot and a 100 main. I bought a packet of jets, so we can rejet this one. For my temperature, the suggestion is that I come down a number because it's quite hot. So I might turn this one, depending on how it runs, to a 99, or even, I don't know, even lower than that. We will see. All right, so let's straight on the bike and we'll, we'll go from there. All right, well, it did this last time. All right, that's 1500 RPM, which is kind of where I like it. No choke, of course. If I put the choke on, it should, it should go out. Yeah, you heard it drop quite a bit there. In terms of um, throttle response, it's actually super snappy. It's not popping anymore. It's not, it was hesitating before when I, uh, on the 98. Now I don't hate that. It's returning back to around 1500 RPM. And there we go. Not, that's not so bad. So I'm going to call that done. Uh, yeah. All right, Ruby. Yeah. Interesting. Come on. Honey. Huh, well there you go. She was better with the hundred in. I think she's a bit lean now.